entrance to the Swallowed Grove. What is that? Huh? Did you hear something? What are you two talking about? I hear voices. Do you not hear them? I'm sorry, Zukas. No, I, I hear nothing. Can you describe... Famia, we haven't the time. If we are this close to the Remnant, others may be as well. Come. All right, we've arrived. What next? Something in the grove is linked to the remnant. It is just a matter of finding it, I think. A hunt, then. Good. Whatever speaks to the remnant here, Sojay and I will find it. And there she goes. She is not wrong. We will cover more ground if we split up. If I see anything, I will find you. Very well. You and Famia go ahead. Whiptail and I will follow in a moment. I hear something. Is that creaking? Please say it's not skeletons. Mercy. I'm no mage, but these do seem different, don't they? They're not feral. It's, it's like they're guarding something. Yeah. 
by the eight. Look at this masonry. I bet this predates the surface on years by a century or more. Fascinating. Pico, over here. I found something. Deep sap. Can you believe it? The root bleeds slow and dry, but this is definitely deep sap. We brightthroats use this in our dream wallows. I think this is no coincidence. Histroot stretch very far, Biko. Deep down into the heart of Zalnern and out into distant lands. I cannot say what tribe serves this hist, but the message is clear. The deep sap is here so we can take it for your dream wallow. Yes, many things feel uncertain. But your roll pounds like a drum in my mind. The deep sap is for you. The dream wallow is for you. With the hist, some things are certain. I could try to explain it, but this is like trying to explain how to breathe underwater to someone who is not a fish. I mean no offense. As not fish go, you are one of the best.
here's a bit thick, isn't it? Come, no more delays. So this is the Dreaming Nest. Yet another dead end. There is more here than you think, Cassandra. The Dreamwalla will clear the waters. You will see. Breathe deep, Ogel. We will watch over you, but you walk the path alone. of a hunting party. What does it say to you? Here. Stop dragging your tail, Mateen. Hunting party waits for you at the bone camp. We have a surprise for you. What is happening to them, Famia? I heard a name. Mateen. I... I think our friend is reliving an ancient Argonian's memories. Finally arrive. We grow old with waiting. To hunt is to know patience, Root Brother. But where is Uraz? Uraz is not with you. He did not come with us. Eh, no matter. We I see nothing, Fat. Is it a hallucination or an actual vision of the past? Both, perhaps? I, I can't... I can only see the edges. Smoke and, and whispers, but... What our friend is experiencing, it's real enough. We came here to find the remnant, Fania. Not to hear mumbling about some hatchling's name day. I'm sorry, Cassandra. It's very hazy. There must be something here. Something we're meant to see. A wallace hardly seems relevant. What could it possibly have to do with the relic? I think... I think we're about to find out. Well fought, Matt. 
team. But Uraz is still not here. I do not like this. Let us find him. Uraz, he's outsider. Did you do this? Ah, another soul for our harvest. Delightful. Soldiers, more of these lizards lurk in the swamp nearby, no doubt. Take them, alive. After all, we'll need guides to their village. What did you say? Something about the Aeliads? I believe so. Yes, the ancient Barsabic Aeliad Elves. I had no idea they made it this far south. Then perhaps the remnant isn't Argonian at all. Perhaps it's an Aeliad artifact. We must learn more. village bleeds. We push to the aliens back, but our warriors bear new scars. Our sap speaker calls for aid. Several members of her sacred clutch remain. Find them, Mateem, and bring them here.
Is someone there? Please, Rootkin. I need help. The door is locked. The key, it should be in the speaker's lodge. Team, thank you. I must... I must find the sap speaker in Raj Kal Drusif. Thank you, my team. Gather your strength. We fight again soon. Please, Hone. Can you hear me? Matim, I cannot find One anywhere. I shout my throat dry, but she does not come. I will go nowhere without my heart, Rose. I will only fight with One at my side. We were separated in the attack. I cut down three invaders, but lost One in the smoke. She is hiding somewhere, I think. Or injured. Please, Matim, help me look for her. Asa Jean, I... I am sorry.
Where is she? Where is she? She did not. Oh no. No, no, no. We were going to travel. To visit Rootkin near Gideon. She cannot be dead. I do not believe you. I made this for her. She would never let it fall from her wrist. She... She really is gone. Please, leave me. Help the others, I need to be alone. Thanks, my team. Now, I must find Raj Karl Drusus. These Argonians? They bested the Aliots? Yes. It was costly, though. Ugh. I smell smoke and taste blood in my mouth. Perhaps the Remnant helped them? This is everyone? All you could find? It will have to do. The sap speaker calls for aid. The four of you must... They are coming! They are coming! The elves! More come, Rashkal! Hundreds more! How? We slaughtered them here like hogfish. That was only the first wave. Kayok. Fine. Fall back to the Hist. We fight and die in its shadow. Bear your fangs, Rootkin. <laughs> yes, by all means, bear your fangs. I wouldn't want this to be too easy. Have you forgotten the laws of the hunt so soon? Frey is supposed to run. Still nothing about the Remnant? I am well acquainted with delays, but even my patience has limits. There must be a connection. Lucas and Jackson Orn. They are shaking. What is going on? Is it the remnant? Yes. It's very close now. I can almost hear it. Cassandra? Cassandra! What are you. Mateem, our time runs dry. The sap speaker calls for you and you alone. Go! The alien savages approach, but the hist provides. A seed of our tribe. A refuge for the souls of our people. Creating this relic is our tribe's last hope. You must find the Root's courage and keep the elves from interfering. Trust in the hist. Here they come. We must hold them off until the ritual is complete. Look 
protect the calls. Keep him away. The ritual is nearly complete. is complete. Come, warrior. The trouble tide recedes, but it will crash again soon. Mateem who is not, at last. The sight of you warms my scales. I feared you would not come, but I was wrong to worry. The hist, in its wisdom, always provides. In this place, even the keenest eyes see little but embers of the truth, Rootmender. Here, we see with our souls. But these are questions for a dozing time. This moment demands action. You seek the seed, correct? What you call it matters little. The seed, this remnant, waits in a dark and quiet place and our souls hide within it. It calls for a protector, a guide, and a mender that might lift it high and release its spirits in the bright yellow sun. I offer you my staff, a branch of great power. It will guide you to us. Many brambles and snares remain, Root Mender. Betrayal, battle, and sacrifice. But the Hiss knows your heart and your strength. In time, you shall find what you seek. The shell of the dream grows thin, Rootmender. 
Soon it will crack. If you have questions, ask them now. The death of our tribe and the creation of the remnant of Argon. The Aeliad Elves, with their white stone hearts, brought steel and nightmare magics to Merkmire. Their leader coveted our souls and theirs. So with his staff, he claimed them. No, he will survive, and his reign here will bring a rainstorm of sorrows. But all is as it must be. The strongest crops grow from fire-licked soil. So it is with the seed, your remnant. For a miracle to occur, there must first be sorrow. It provides a refuge for the souls of our tribe, a safe place to weather the storm. But it has slept too long, and the hist that cares for it withers away. You must find the remnant. Thus, with your aid, both hist and remnant will wake and thrive. Both, and neither. Hmm. Tell me, Rootmender, which do you believe is true? Is this a dream wallow vision? Is it real? The narrow reed you call real cannot hold the Hist's truth, Rootmender. Real, illusion, dream, waking. These are the words that keep our bellies to the mud. We are safe there, yes, but we cannot see very far. Today, you see very far indeed. You are welcome. Do not be discouraged. Uncertainty is no bad thing. This staff! It is the key to the remnant of Argon, isn't it? Then it seems our time together has come to an end. This paralytic should keep you here for a time. Please know I hold you in the highest respect. Farewell. Move it, Fabia.
This way. Rico, I am sorry to have left you, but I had to give chase. Cassandra took the staff, a gift of the Dreamwallow, and the key to the remnant of Argon, yes? I grew too weary, but Jaxic still chases them like a stiff wind, I think. She did. Cassandra seeks to claim the remnant for herself. I extend the quill of deep surprise. That is a joke. You saw the remnant's history. A seed born in blood and sorrow. It cannot belong to Cassandra. We must stop her before it is too late. Cassandra moves quickly for a Lucille of her age. She has more sap in her than I expected. Friend Jaxic will fight Cassandra and Whiptail alone if she catches them. On any other day, I think she would win. But with this staff, what should we do? Very well. But someone needs to send word of Cassandra's treachery back to Lilmouth and the tribal villages. If she unleashes some ancient power, all should be prepared. I move swiftly in the rivers. I will find you again once I am finished. Jaxic chases her prey into the deep mire, northeast of here. It is an old fear place, Biko. No Saxleel hunts there, not even the bravest calls. This will not stop Jaxic. Naga Fury makes her strong but also reckless. She will need your help. Be swift. Friend Jaxic would build a ladder to fight the sun if it crossed her. An endearing quality that will someday get her killed. Hopefully, today is not the day. Of course, though I am not sure if I can provide any insight, I saw only shadows and heard only whispers. There was a sap speaker there, yes? A Saxleel, blessed by the hist with second eyes and second ears. And she gave you her staff, right? It may still guide us there, Biko, if we are lucky. We pursue Cassandra, and Cassandra holds the staff. Whether we possess the staff or not, we still find the remnant. Trust in the sap speaker. Trust in the hist. Belief is not always easy, even for us who feel the will of the Hist in our hearts. If you cannot place your trust in the Hist, place your trust in me. This is your path, Biko. I know it. A very good question. I cannot believe that friend Famia would betray us too. Maybe she tries to change Cassandra's mind. I can tell you, Biko. I caught a glimpse of Cassandra's eyes before I succumbed to the gas. She will not change her mind. Gone as well. His soul is shriveled and twisted like a tangle of dry thorns. He plays at being a Naga, but in his heart, he is a monster. Cassandra has nothing to fear from him, but friend Famia, my throat grows dry with worry. The sap speaker said that the souls of her tribe nest inside the remnant, right? If Cassandra could claim the souls of an entire tribe, 
She might find some way to rule them, to twist them to serve some dark purpose. We cannot let that happen. Perhaps, but the result of a fight like that might lead to even more horrors. A tribe of angry souls set loose upon a cruel manipulator. Might they take on an aspect of her cruelty? Or return to the Hist, resentful and suspicious? Who can say? What part of mud?
down for this. Yes, that's what I wanted. Now I can move on. So cool. How was I doing that? <laughs> it's this. Must I kill? Ojel, I hiss fire. I nearly caught that nuclear hag, Cassandra. But blackguards emerged from all sides. Sojay and I cannot kill these grills fast enough. We will never catch up at this rate. Kaok. Yes, from the beginning. I will not say I told you so. You remember her limp-tailed toady, Whiptail? He is one of them. Now he and his savages escort Cassandra and block our pursuit. You are right. But something... As soon as I arrived here in the Deepmire, the hist started whispering to me. Trying to dull my fury. Urging patience and trust. I hate it. But my tongue wanders and the trail goes cold. We must resume the hunt. It is not like the swamplands you know. Old Sithis stalks here, and unhappy spirits watch your every move. A bad place. If you fall here, you fall to the void, so do not fall. You claw for memories. You saw during the dream wallow, maybe. I recall little shadows and the taste of blood and smoke. To whatever memories you can. They will serve you well, I think.
I shake my head. You expect me to describe the withered heart of some scheming Lukiel? She is a savage, and the offspring of savages. I hear she complains that the Hiss does not speak to her. It does not speak because she is not worthy. I tighten my fist. In the beginning, she may have used it to force open the doors to the Hist. To make the Hist speak as it speaks to us. But now, I think she means to use its power to dominate us. It is not like the Swamplands you know. Old Sithis stalks here, and unhappy spirits watch you. Zookas has muddled. Surprised. I told you, I swim like a harpoon fish. Typically, a nap follows, but that will have to wait. You found Jaxic. Good. All are warned of Cassandra's treachery. Many Saxley will come to aid us, but they will arrive too late, I think. So, she was in league with them the whole time? That dries my scales. In small numbers, they pose little threat, but with a mind like Cassandra's and the remnant in hand, maybe Jaxic already killed them all and I worry without cause. The village the Hist showed you in the Dream Wallow, maybe? Old Shuvu told me of a village in the Deepmire, but to reach it, we must traverse the Snake Means Death City, Zulthusis. I wish it were not so, but we have little choice. Let us go. Norgvos. Warning stones. Our old kin built them to keep the Saxville away. But we will use them to guide us instead. Fear is for our enemies. They will know. Is that all? The Dream Wallow showed you this place, didn't it? A place for proving strength. We will have many chances to show our own, I think.
the bones of the Leviathan. Mill only to be sure. But for whom? Okay, one more. Maybe I'll catch a rare fish. Laggards lurk here, true, but so do dangerous beasts and vicious. Well, I'm definitely not coming back up here. There is your gate, Zucus. To the snake means Death City, Zulthusis, and the temple beyond. We challenge the void here, Swordkin. It is not so scary if you squint your eyes. Just really narrow your... No, it is still terrifying.
The blackguards nest in Zulthusis? Are they mad? Mad or not, Sojay and I will hack them dead. Let blood mingle with water. Jeez, God damn it. When will we face uh. a real challenge? That room up ahead, it stinks of Cassandra's dry skin perfume. She has been here. Tribes of Rootmire. 
Meyer Dancers by Emma Nubeth Urant, The Wayfarer Society of Wayfarers. I've had the privilege to speak to two different Meyer Dancers, Elder Snow, and I've learned a great deal from both of these conversations. G or G Ras Leo for themselves are among the most introspective Iconians I met in my travel. They also be the most pleasant for all their reclusiveness and worries. I never met a people more willing to share a meal or a game of shells. They are skilled artisans with a particular knack for working with fist and their directions. They are also peerless navigators, masters, weavers, and skilled cartographers. The most defining characteristics of the Meyer dancer tribe, however, is piety. This deep reverence for the hist has earned them the right to name a sap speaker for countless generations. According to the elders I spoke with, the sap speaker is the his direct intermediary. This is, of course, a subject to debate. Many tribes pose unique methods of communication with the his. As far as I have seen, the Meyer dancer is the most compelling case for the methods they use. Sap speakers <coughs> often go into seclusion for days or even weeks of the end, venturing either down into the roots or high into the canopy of leaves in the uppermost branches. Here they commune with the hiss. Indeed, the word that one of the elders used was journey. This journey into the his text sap speakers in our thoroughly private affairs. After days by themselves, the sap speaker emerged to hide away with old books, scrolls, as I, I asked after the purpose of this period of seclusion, as usual the answers were light in details. The sap speaker enters the embrace of the hills to learn from the great tree, one elder said. While in close contact with the roots and the branches, the sap speaker receives visions and other forms of communication that neither you nor I would understand. The other elder continued, even the sap speaker finds some of what is shown to be mystifying and confusing. I have heard that a sad speaker is treated to ancient metaphors, hurricane secrets and visions that make little sense to creatures so far removed from the sad
apparently the second period of seclusion allows the sap speaker time to reflect on what he or she was shown as well as time to consult with the ancient writing of the sap speakers who came before after a suitable period of study and reflection the sap speaker emerges to reveal the his will to the tribes his will to the tribes would be revealed. I attempted to get more information about what happens while the sad speaker meditates on his own survenges. But I'm not sure what the others knew much more. They did tell me that the only nourishment the sad speaker receives during the spirit of seclusion provided by the his itself in the form of saps, leaves, and otherwise forbidden fruit of the tree. There is a price to pay for the gift of his communi communion. There is a price to pay for the gift of his communion. However, Ingesting large quantities of his sap is a dangerous affair, even for Argonians. Sap speakers routinely suffer the effects of sap poisoning, including a cold tongue, permanent changes of mouth pigmentation to a golden hue, unbiting hallucinations, dark scale thickening and darkening surface scales, and other maladies. They were reticent to talk about the current sap speaker, Fumars, Fumars, was in seclusion during my visit to the tribal village. I hope to meet him someday, if he's half as wise as the elders. I will inter interact with I hope to meet him someday, if he's as half as wise as the elders I interacted with, I have no doubt learn a great deal from him. Despite their deeply religious nature, the Meyer dancers also seem to have an obsession with games of all types. They apparently are particularly fond of the game Nine Shells and Shells and Stones as well as sports such as the popular also known as hip and tailbone, in addition, lovingly explaining their own games, they wanted to know everything I could tell them about the games played back in the forest. I must admit, their enthusiasm was quite infectious, and I found it highly amusing to watch them try to recreate a deceiver's bones from the vague description I provided. The Meyer dancers are also inaverate gamblers, but they often forget to collect their winnings. Unlike the games of Man and Mer, Meyer dancers' competitions appear completely devoid of malice Anger, pride, victory, and defeat seem more like afterthoughts than objectives. Due in no small part, due in no small part of their pragmatic positions, position, as in most things, 
They focus strictly on the moment, the now. It pains, it pains me to leave their village, but I still have many more tracks to study. I doubt any of them will be as fascinating, as friendly, as admired hazards. This is the first time that I have come across Slurpok. Tries or Murkmire, but I am glad quest today and I have found this book for the first time a wonderful story and but I will practice and read at story time. Very well we continue. Quiet. I hear something. Oh, wow. It's another book I never read before. Wait for tomorrow. Oh my god, this is a long one. The Blackwater War, Volume 6, by Balenka, Arvina, Historian and Residence, Healing. Sardicus commander. 
Followed closely by mysteries, mysterious disappearances. This will have to go for Let's finish my quest. Oh, this one I have already. Royal lineage, something. Very nice, very nice books. Ah, oh, there it is. Oh, Sandra. Sweet. mistake of not being useful anymore. But don't worry. I've got it for you. I'm not going anywhere with you. Oh, chase them. No fun struggle. Get up, boys. Take her to the special chamber. Sandra cannot be far. She hopes to delay us by putting friend Famia in danger, I think. Sooth, come. Let's find another way into the deeper room. Yeah. 
sons of the ancient dead rise in protest. Whiptail should pay for disturbing this sacred place. to challenge us. Cassandra! So, you made it this far. Impressive. Alas, you have another engagement. Follow me and Fabia dies. I grind my fangs. The only death that is certain is yours. Enough theatrics, Jaxic Orn. The Hist allowed me to acquire this staff. Surely you wouldn't fight the will of the Roots. Now you mock the Hist. I will cut that dry tongue out of your lying throat. Wait, Jaxic! Kaok, you go save friend Famia from that crazy Naga. I will try to keep Jaxic alive.
Your has bloody far too long. Your altar has got unbloody far too long. And I will carve your name into all the flesh. I will carve your name into all the flesh of Mervyr. You. That madman deserved nothing less. Come on, there's an exit this way. Yes, fuck yeah. Ah, I can't believe they hit the fucking book there. Jesus Christ. I would have never found that. The way of the shadow. I think I could like you must always remember the source of power. For it can be denied at the whim of our master. You will be tempted by the other forces, many of which to similar to our father. They have as many names as the father has faces. You shall remember all his faces. And none there. When you draw the ruins of the shadow and remember there are no shadows without light. And without light, there's only the void. We revere this face of our father. It's not our destiny. To strive towards the inevitable. The sun is a bleeding yoke. And we will drink. Until then, our scales remain black, and so we serve at the seat of shadow.
and all those things carry clock crawler. And they have two, so oh wow. What? And they drop a chemical ingredients. Mushrooms, yes. But so I need something. Can you not hear? Rattles my fangs. I do, Jaxic, but you must breathe. Ah, Miko, and friend Famia, thank the hist. You dealt with that snake whip tail, yes? Good. My belly churned with worry for friend Famia and for you. We have. Less good news. We used the waterways and nearly caught Cassandra, but she escaped. We nearly had her. Our claws reached for her throat, but suddenly, Jaxic cried out and collapsed. I could not find the will to leave her behind. Like she always says, I have the underbelly of a soft-shell crab. You would not know it in speaking with her, but Jaxic is not so cruel as she seems. She feels things very deeply, deeper even than me. The air in this temple is thick with memories, and she hears them all. Yes, she mutters about the tree that guided us. She says it is very close. I do not wish for Cassandra to claim the remnant, but we must find this dreaming tree. Haste has profited us very little. We should slow down and listen to the hist. In the itself dwelt in a village of stone, with a great hist tree at the center. The Aeliad elves attacked the village, seeking Argonian souls at first, the tree's secrets later. This is the hist that guides us. Yes, the remnant was born there, and it sleeps there still. I sense that the Aeliads failed to claim it, but with the power of the Sapspeaker's staff, Cassandra may succeed. It is this way. And there she goes again. Uh, is she gonna be all right? Yes, friend Famia. This is the will of the Hist. You will see, I think. Remarkable. This is the village you saw in your dream, Wallow, right? Yes. What is left of it, anyway? Well, I'm no arborist, but there's definitely something wrong with that history. It can't be dead, can it? No, but it struggles for wakefulness. It gives everything to the remnant. Well, it really is something. Yes, it is. Flare my nostrils and fill my lungs. Do you smell it, Ogel? The dryness of the branches, the loosening of the soil. This hiss slumbers like the dead, but it is not dead yet. Its strength lies in the remnant, in the souls of its tribe. It will. 
The remnant is very, very close. Deep beneath our feet, cradled in vines and moss. You have seen its resting place before, in your dream wallow. A cavern of roots and stone. So Jay and I want to go with you, but we cannot. Zucus and I, we set our roots here. I cannot explain it in the dry tongue. It is like the sun rising or the rivers flowing downstream. It simply is. Zucus and I watch over the tree because we must. You find the remnant because you must. I know, but you will not need it. Take Famia with you to the Zanmir east of here. Keep her safe. She wears the skin of man, but the Hist knows her heart. The two of you will stop Cassandra. I believe this. So should you. Oh, jackpot. Another book. Wow. Oh, shit. Care and feeding of swamp jellies. <laughs> this should be funny. A uh, hi ho. This will be a book for another time. Wow. It's a long one, too. Quite a few pages in here. Very interesting. The habitat. Anatomy. Behavior. And diet. Care. Oh. Meal preparation. Catching jelly. Indeed, a very detailed guide to taking care of jelly. It should be a fun read for another time. Until then, we'll continue with our story. My quest must be finished today, tonight, or whatever. Let's go.
They're not coming with us, are they? Goodness. Just when you think you know everything there is to know about the Bright Throats and the Deadwater, they throw you for another loop. These Markmire Argonians are remarkable people. You and me? Oh, goodness, uh, what could I possibly do? You're the hero. I'm just the oft-imperiled bookworm. <laughs> uh, even so, I would trust Zookas with my life. Jaxagorn, too. If they say we go together, then we go together. If that's all right with you, I mean. Stopping Cassandra won't be simple. With the sap speaker staff and such a long head start... Uh... No, no. Can't think like that. I'm here to supply valuable historical information and boundless optimism. So that's what I'll do! Well, I should tell you, we've officially left the realm of verified research and entered the world of legend and wild-eyed conjecture. If that last ruin was Zul Thuzis, then this next Zanmir must be Vakabok, the Bull of the Sun, I think. I think they're right. Aside from the word of the Hist, which I've learned is very persuasive, legends say that the Vakabok Zanmir holds a great treasure. It has to be the remnant. Now, we should get moving, right? We've got to stop Cassandra. I'm right behind you, friend. Let's just hope we can still catch up to Cassandra. And uh, that is the end of uh, my adventure for today. I'll continue this tomorrow. Have a good night. I hope you have some good dreams. I know I will.